Hello, I'm Jeannie Gizzi. I was bitten by a rabbit bat when I was 15. Incredibly, I was fortunate to survive. I am one of only a handful of people that has ever survived rabies. Please listen to this video carefully. Clearly, bats are an important part of our world, but sometimes they are rabid. The information in this film just might save your life. Bats play an important role in the ecosystem which impact our lives on a daily basis. As you watch this video, you will learn about bats in the ecosystem, you will learn about rabies virus, and the relationship between bats and rabies. You will also learn that rabies is a preventable disease and how you can avoid coming in contact with a bat to prevent a possible rabies exposure. You will also learn what steps to take in case you are exposed to a rabid animal. Rabies is a viral disease of the nervous system that can affect all mammals, including humans. Rabies is most common in carnivores, which are meat eaters, such as raccoons, skunks, foxes, and dogs. Rabies virus is almost exclusively transmitted by the saliva from a bite of an infected animal, although additional routes of transmission exist. The viruses that cause rabies are adapted to the nervous system. After a bite from an infected mammal, the virus travels in the peripheral nerves to the spinal cord and brain. Two different forms of clinical rabies occur, paralytic rabies, also known as dumb rabies, and furious rabies. Although tens of thousands of people die from rabies around the world each year, rabies is a totally preventable disease. In the United States, wildlife such as bats are a source for transmitting rabies virus to people through a bite. Bats are common across the United States. They live in many places like buildings, caves, mines, and trees. Bats are nocturnal and fly at night, often feeding on insects. Many bats cannot easily take off from the ground, but some can take flight from the ground or feed over water. In the United States, there are 47 species of bats. Common species include the big brown, hoary, silver-haired, evening, and free-tailed bats. You cannot tell if an animal has rabies by simply looking at it. Unusual behaviors could consist of being active in the daytime, being unable to fly, flopping around on the ground or making unusual or odd sounds. Bats can be seen in places like schools, in the home, offices, and school auditoria without showing signs of any unusual behavior. Bats can also be found in other places, such as under picnic tables, inside closed umbrellas, or under a porch. Another thing about bats is that they're small and have small but sharp teeth. And often the marks from a bat bite are not overly dramatic and may not be obvious after a bite. Rabid bat behavior can result in a greater risk of exposures to people. Behaviors of rabid animals can be normal or unusual. Examples can include fluttering on the ground, losing fear of people, or acting aggressively, such as hissing or expanding their wings. People may try to remove bats from some places or from their pets, or by simply picking up a grounded bat. Obviously, bats may bite in self-defense when handled, regardless of the situation. One key message is to never touch a bat, regardless of the situation. Human exposures can also be prevented by successfully bat-proofing homes and buildings. Preventing bats from entering and roosting can be accomplished by sealing outside entry points, including very small holes. For larger openings, such as chimney caps, use no larger than one quarter inch polypropylene mesh or hardware cloth. It's very important that you avoid excluding bats from buildings from April through August to avoid trapping flightless young bats inside. Anytime a building or home is being bat-proofed, at least one exit, preferably a tube-type device, must remain open for seven to ten days so that no bats are trapped inside. A professional, experienced bat excluder can be hired for this process. If bitten by a bat, the bite should hurt. Most individuals will be aware they were bitten. However, bats have small teeth. Marks may not be noticeable and may not bleed. The bites might heal quickly before being noticed. All bat bites, regardless of size, must be taken seriously. If bitten by a bat or any mammal, wash the wound thoroughly with soap and water for several minutes, then tell an adult immediately so you can seek proper medical advice. If you come in contact with a bat, regardless of the situation, Report this to an adult so you can seek medical care. If you see a bat when awakening from sleep, regardless of where you slept, such as in a bedroom, tent, etc., 
tell an adult so that the bat may be captured safely and reported to the health department. The health department may instruct you what to do next and can help you with advice on how to safely capture or remove a bat. This also applies when a bat is found around a small child, a mentally impaired individual, or someone that might be intoxicated. If you think your pet's been bitten or has come in contact with a bat, report this situation to an adult so you can contact a veterinarian or your health department for assistance. Rabies can be prevented by avoiding exposure. After exposure, the disease can be prevented by wound care and vaccinations. These injections are administered in the arm and are not particularly painful. These injections will prevent you from developing rabies and allow you to continue in your daily activities. Bats are able to peacefully coexist with people and provide us with many benefits. Worldwide, bats are a major predator of night flying insects, including pests that cost farmers billions of dollars annually. Throughout the tropics, seed dispersal and pollination activities of bats are vital to rainforest survival. In addition, studies of bats have contributed to medical advances, including the development of navigational aids for the blind. There are over 1,250 species of bats worldwide. Many local populations of bats have been destroyed and dozens of species are now endangered. The best protection we can offer these unique animals and ourselves is to learn more about their habits and recognize the value of living safely with them and giving them the respect they deserve, as we should with all wildlife. This educational video has been presented to you by the Global Alliance for Rabies Control and supported by the Zach Jones Memorial Fund. Rabies is a serious life-threatening disease that is completely preventable with proper education and action. To learn more about bats and rabies, visit the Global Alliance for Rabies Control at rabiesalliance.org, Bat Conservation International at batcon.org, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at cdc.gov forward slash rabies. To learn more about Zach Jones, visit zachjonesmemorial.org.